There's another useful allocation function that we can use and that's called reallocate. What reallocate does is takes everything inside of a memory block and moves it to another memory block that is either bigger or smaller. Usually it's bigger. So basically its use is for things like arrays where you want to increase the size of an array. This function will do that for you. But before we can implement a realloc function, we need to go back into memory.h and declare a new memory function, mem copy. What this does is copy a set amount of bytes from one memory address to another. Void destination. This is obviously where the data is going in to end up. And then we have void pointer source and a uint64 num, which is the amount of bytes we're going to copy. All right, now in memory.cpp, we can start making a function. So void mem copy. Speed things up, we can just copy these parameters. And now we can start working on this. So memcopy is very similar to memset. So we can copy this if num is less than or equal to eight, but instead of val pointer equaling value, val pointer now equals source, get rid of our reference. And instead of our pointer equaling start, we now make it equal destination. And same with here as well. So basically we're copying from the source into the destination. Now, just like here before, we can calculate how many 64-bit operations we can do. Copy that into there. Now we need to calculate the source pointer. So uint64 pointer source pointer equals uint64 pointer source. Now we have destination pointer equals a pointer of destination. And while destination pointer is less than destination plus new num, destination pointer plus plus. Now destination pointer equals source pointer. Well, the value at each pointer equals the other value at the other pointer. And then we can increment source pointer. We would have to increment destination pointer as well, but we're doing that in the for loop, which is fine. Now we just do the trailing eight bit operations. So we can do source pointer eight equals cast a uint eight, two brackets, uint 64, closing bracket source plus new num. This just calculates the address of our pointer. And now uint eight destination pointer eight equals uint eight sixty equals destination plus new num just pointer eight less than destination plus num destination pointer eight plus plus just make this lowercase I've done everything else lowercase may as well stick with it All right now destination pointer eight equals source pointer eight and source pointer eight plus plus so there's a mem copy function now back in heap dot h we can do void realloc and the parameters for realloc are an address and a new size so void pointer address this just takes in the value that was returned by a malloc or calloc function or another realloc function and it takes a new size so that is the size that the realloc function will give you and expand the old memory segment into so now we can start building the function it's actually quite simple to build now that we have a mem copy function. So void pointer realloc. Copy these for easiness. Right, so now we have memory segment header old segment header equals cast to memory segment header address minus one. So this will get the memory segment header of the old address. We need to calculate the smaller size. We need to do this just in case the new size is smaller than the old size. So the smaller size equals new size. And if the old segment header memory length is less than new size, smaller size equals old segment headers memory length. So now we've calculated the smaller size of the two addresses. We can do void pointer new mem equals malloc new size. Now we mem copy into the new mem 
from the address of the size, smaller size. So that'll copy everything from the old address into the new one. And since we've calculated the smaller size, it won't overflow the new address. We need to free the old address so it's no longer in use. Any pointers to the old address will now be invalidated, so we just need to keep that in mind. And now we just need to return new mem. All right. So now let's test out some functions. So we can get rid of all this old stuff. So we can do uint 64 pointer test address equals cast to uint 64 pointer malloc 0x08. So this will allocate one uint 64 onto the heap for us to use. We can set the value at test address to 1234567.8. Now let's print string integer to string the value at test address. Now onto the next line we can do our next and return. Now we can create test address 2 equals re alloc test address new size 0x08 just the same as before and of course we need our cast. So now test address and test address 2 will contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so we can print that out just to be sure that it actually does. And now we can test calloc, so uint64 pointer test address 3 equals uint64 c alloc, and this will just be 0x08. And since we've reallocated test address 1, just need to have the pointer there, since we have reallocated test address 1, it has now freed it, so calloc will take it up and make it 0. So now we can print string test address 3 and it will be 0. So we'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the first string, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the second string and then 0 for the third string. So let's test that out and see if we've made any mistakes. Here we go, so it's all working perfectly. The first line is our first malloc function. We've set it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, printed it reallocated it to a new memory address, printed that, cleared the first memory address, and it's been set back to zero. Now I've put test address three down here. We will get the exact same result if we put test address with nothing, because it's cleared the first address. Here we go, so it's exactly the same. So C alloc is working at clearing the memory, realloc is working at copying the memory, and malloc is working at assigning the memory. So now we have a set of good memory allocation functions. There's only one more that we need to work on, and this one's a little bit more complicated because it is aligned allocate. So we're producing a memory segment that's been aligned to a certain memory alignment. But that'll be it for this video. This has been a long one. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.